Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension to sell Lifter LMS courses and memberships through your WooCommerce store. So before we get started with the setup, we're gonna to need to make sure we have three plugins on here. The Lifter LMS Core plugin, the Lifter LMS Helper, and WooCommerce. WooCommerce for adding products, Lifter LMS for adding our courses and memberships, and then the Helper allows us to add in our license key uh, for paid Lifter LMS products and download all the paid add-ons from the back end of WordPress. So if you haven't seen our video on the Lifter LMS Helper, be sure to go check that out on how to install that and add in your license key. But we do have that installed, so I can head to Lifter LMS, add-ons and more. And from here, I already have my license key installed and so I'm going to want to make sure I scroll down to the WooCommerce extension. I'm going to click Install, Apply. And then scroll back down, Activate, Apply. Perfect, so now that's installed and activated. So now we need to enable the extension under Lifter LMS Settings, Integrations at the top here, WooCommerce. I'm going to click on that check to enable this integration and save changes. So now we have a whole lot of settings popping up on this page here, and now we can dive into making sure everything's set up. So let me go set up a course and a product so we can see how they work together now that I have the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension set up. So if I head down to products, we need to make sure I have a product to associate my course with. How the Lifter WooCommerce extension works is you take a course and kind of associate it with a product. So when someone purchases that product, they're enrolled into that course. So I'm gonna create a product here for one of my courses. I have maybe the Quick Start course is the one I'll use as my example. So I'll go to WooCommerce products and make sure I have a product called Lifter LMS Quick Start course. It doesn't have to be called exactly the same thing, uh, but we just wanna make it clear and I can add a description and everything. This is a virtual product. We'll set $10 on this product and then publish. Perfect, so now I have my WooCommerce product created here. And if I were to add my shop page to my menu here on my website, we could see that product in my shop. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so here's my shop and there's my Lifter LMS Quick Start course there. And so currently if someone purchases this product, nothing's gonna happen. So now we need to associate this product with my Quick Start course. So I'm gonna head back to the back end of WordPress under courses. I'm gonna edit my Quick Start course. And then once this loads in, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to my access plan section. And currently I have a free access plan but I'm going to make this a paid access plan and I'm going to select the WooCommerce product that you need to purchase in order to be enrolled. Perfect. Save at the bottom. So now whenever someone purchases this Lifter LMS Quick Start course product, they're going to be enrolled into my Quick Start course. All right. Now the last thing we need to take a look at is setting up the WooCommerce my account page so people can come back and access their course and log in and, um, Make sure if they leave the site, come back later, log in on their phone, they can still access their courses and are good to go. So let's head back to the WordPress admin and I'm gonna add the My Account page to the menu so we can see what it looks like. Appearance menus, this is the WooCommerce My Account page. Lifter LMS does have a student dashboard page, but when you're using Lifter LMS alongside WooCommerce, it's easier just to put them both on one page and the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension allows you to do that. So now that I have that on my menu here, my account, we can see I have my courses, my grades, memberships. This is all being pulled in from the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension. If I go to the back end of WordPress, I'll show you where these settings are. Under Lifter LMS settings, integrations, WooCommerce, we can see here account endpoints, my grades, my memberships. That's what's showing up here. If you wanted to remove an endpoint, I could delete my grades, my achievements. Maybe I'm not gonna be using certificates or vouchers. 
just courses and memberships. Then if I reload on my account page, we'll see now it's just courses and memberships. And this is where people can come click my courses and see the courses they're enrolled in. So let's check out a few of these other settings, just kind of preliminary setup. Uh, one thing we want to change is order enrollment status. Typically just set this to processing. Processing means the payment has been collected, but in WooCommerce, typically it's thinking about maybe like a t-shirt business or physical product business where you would then go in and fulfill the order and complete it. So it would go processing, they've paid the money, and then you would manually change it to completed. For the sake of courses and virtual products, it's just easier to say, once the order status goes to processing, go ahead and enroll them. So I'm gonna set that to processing, and then that's really all I have to do on this page. So I'm gonna save changes. We wanna take a quick visit to the WooCommerce settings in order to make sure that people are creating an account when they purchase. So if I go to accounts and privacy at the top here, in the WooCommerce settings, we want to uncheck this box, allow customers to place an order without an account. We do want you to create an account on checkout. That way we give you username, password, and you can log in and view your courses. So make sure that's not checked. Uh, we want to allow customers to log into an existing account. If you already have an account, you feel, feel free to log in at checkout to your existing account. Allow customers to create an account during checkout. Yes, you can create an account on checkout and then uh, these other settings are pretty much optional. You just want to make sure you have allow customers to create an account during checkout and do not allow customers to place an order without an account. Otherwise, we're good to go. I'm going to save changes at the bottom and now we can test out the process. So I'm going to make a 100% off coupon here under marketing coupons and WooCommerce just so I can purchase my course and show you what the process looks like. So this is going to be a 100% off coupon that I can use on my course as a demo. So I'm gonna go into a, an incognito window where I'm not logged in and go through that checkout process. So here on my site, I'm gonna to go to shop, add to cart on my Lifter LMS Quick Start course. Make sure that's added into my cart properly, view cart. I do have two in here now, so let me just update my cart, just one copy of this. I'm going to apply my coupon. There we go. My total is now zero. Proceed to checkout. And it's going to ask me here for my email address to create my account. Now, if I wanted to allow users to create their own passwords, I would go to WooCommerce settings, accounts and privacy, and then automatically generate a password. I just want to make sure that's unchecked because I want to allow people to enter their own passwords, but you can do it either way. So I'm just going to fill out this information. Put my password, let's take that. Perfect. So now I filled out all my information I need uh, to create an account and I can place my order. There we go. You can see course enrollment success. And as the customer, I can now go to my, my account page, my courses, and I'll see my quick start course right there. I can go ahead and get started. And then of course, if I log out, I can always log back in on that my account page. Under my account, I can log in here and view my courses. Another neat feature of Lifter LMS and WooCommerce, if you wanted to use the course catalog, it defaults to putting the $10 price tag here. If I click sign me up, it's going to take me um, over. It's going to add the quick start course to my cart. And so it kind of seamlessly integrates with WooCommerce, whether you use the shop for your store or whether you want to use the course catalog. Either way, uh, in this demo, I use the shop, as you can see there. But that's how the Lifter LMS WooCommerce extension works. All of your e-commerce is now going through WooCommerce, so any extensions or payment gateways you can connect to WooCommerce will work with this setup. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.